everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python's World. Back for the fifth episode in Season 3. And once again, a huge massive thank you for all of the support you have been showing the series. Last episode we got over 3,000 likes still, which is fantastic. It really, really is fan freaking fantastic, guys. So, if we can keep it up with 2,000 likes per episode, I will keep it up daily. Now, guys, today... I would very much like to make an enchant table. Now, what that means, of course, is we need to begin by getting ourselves a couple sticks. We need to head up here real quick. We need to grab ourselves three diamondos, and then we're going to make ourselves our first diamond pickaxe of the series, which is absolutely fantastic. So, you may be able to notice I've done a couple things around the bases the last episode. Uh, first of which is I finally got an anvil going. I also decided to make a campfire a grindstone and also the stone cutter so yeah all of these things will hopefully ease our way as we go along we can cook four items at the same time on there we can repair various things on there for example my bow has got a little bit of durability now which is cool and then of course the stone cutter is good for building now in the last episode i didn't actually show you guys this but we can actually go down the corner here and i've cleared out this bottom room the only thing is, if I was to open up one of those trap doors, uh, yeah, it, it lets water in. So that's a thing to uh, to mention, I guess. But I think what I'd like to do around here is I would very much like to make a little enchant area down here. I think we should be able to put the enchant table there and then surround this place with bookcases. I think that would be a very, very worthy use of space. And then we can have like a mini storage area in here for like books and enchanted tools and stuff. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm a man with a plan, my friends. I am a man with a plan. All right, so as always, the safest way to dig obsidian would be for you to place down a water source and then uh, throw your diamond pickaxe and then mine up the obsidian. Yes, that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to be so careless with my diamond pickaxe if I wind up ever throwing that into lava. I'm going to be so sad. But anyways, guys, we are looking to get 14 bits of obsidian. 10 for a portal and then 4 for an enchant table. Now, of course, this is probably going to take about 3,000 years. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a jump cut here. All right, folks. So 14 bits of obsidian have been obtained here. And as you can see, uh, we got ourselves a small smorgasbord of uh, various materials here. Because I'm actually kind of interested to see what kind of nether spawn we may wind up having on our season 3 area. Area of the world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the nether portal down here because I don't know. I thought it could be a pretty cool location in which it could go. So if I was to go ahead and put those stairs down there, get rid of that block, get rid of that block, and then begin on digging the actual portal area, which will be here. So one, two, uh, three, and then that'll be the top section. That'll be the side section. And there we go. Right, okay. So all we need to do is place in the obsidian, rather like so. And then we have access to the nether. All we need to do is light it up. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We now have access to the nether. And, you know, we still have an area back here to be able to make ourselves an enchanting area, which is cool. So... Ladies and gents, I'm interested. I am very, very interested to see what kind of nether spawn we get. I'm hoping we are in a nether fortress. Come on. Come on. Nether fortress, please. Come on. You know you want to. I'm pretty darn sure we're not going to be at the tunnel system. So I'm, pr I'm pretty certain we're going to get ourselves a new portal generate. So here we are. Yep, this is definitely a new section of the nether because there is lava flowing down. So yeah. All right. So question is what have we got around here uh not a whole bunch by the looks of it i mean yeah there's all the lava flowing down <laughs> okay yeah i mean it's not the best nether spawn let's be let's be honest here guys i was rather hoping to have some sort of nether fortress nearby i mean yeah on our season two area of the world we did have a nether fortress nearby on the season one area of the world we did not so, yeah. Oh, I'm glad I didn't fall down there. Oh, my God. Guys, they've hatched. We have baby turtles. Okay. So, is the fourth baby turtle down in the little pit down there? Oh, my God. That's adorable. That is actually freaking adorable. Guys, we have to take a screenshot for the episode for that. Yeah, look at that. Dude, I can't believe how small they are. They're unbelievably tiny. 
That is so cute. <laughs> that is so cute. We have baby tortoises. Tortoise, turtles, turtles. Tortoises. What? I don't know what my terminology is even doing today. But anyways, yeah, we're looking pretty good. All right, so I think we are free to explore. So like I say, we need to find some cows, maybe find a village, something like that. I want to get bookshelves, my friends. So, uh... I don't know. I don't know really what direction to go in. I mean, we've gone in a westerly direction already. We know we've got a jungle over there. Uh, so it'll be kind of cool to see if we can find ourselves uh, some other areas of the world. So maybe we could head in a north direction, a northern direction. Maybe we could find ourselves like a plains biome with a village or something like that. That would be very, very nice. Oh, yes, it would. Guys, we've got a coral reef here. That is really not far away from our base either. There's an abandoned ruin down there as well, which could be worth checking out. Uh, there appears to be a shipwreck over there. Uh, there appears to be a floating snow island over there. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is pretty cool. This is epic. All right. Dang, man. <laughs> Dude, I am liking this. I am liking the fact that we have ourselves a coral reef, like, really not that far away. That is actually awesome. All right, so let's go check out these mountains real quick, and then hopefully we can find ourselves a plains biome coming off of it. That's what I hope for, anyway. Sorry, cows, this is for science purposes. You're dead. Lol, what are you going to do about it? There we go. So we've got that going on there. Oh, there's like a few more. Hello. Go on, get absolutely destroyed. I'm kind of tempted to put one cow in my boat and try and lure him back. Uh-huh, that might be a little bit easier said than done, though, I'm going to be honest with you. Because I don't have anything to lure the cow with. Oh, now we've got something to saddle up. Yeah, when I don't have my saddles on me. Ah, jeez, man. Hey, look at this, though. There's, like, loads of, like, grey and black and white horses here. This is kind of cool. I like this. Hello there, singular cow. Sorry, buddy. Had to do it to you. Had to do it to you, man. Hey, do we want to get some sea pickles? <gasps> that could be a cool idea. Hmm. Maybe once we get ourselves some uh, respiration or a turtle helmet, which, by the way, I know a lot of you guys will be heading down to the comments area and saying, you know, oh, Python, you should be looking out for the scoots, right? Well, I mean, they had literally just hatched when I left. I don't think they will hatch, like, right now. But, oh, God, there's a, there's a little fire going on. Uh, I don't think they will, uh, like, grow up totally now because I'm pretty sure we're out of rendered distance for our island, so... Yeah, just something to bear in mind, I guess. Right, come on, man. There's got to be something. I guess I should uh, continue picking up sugarcane as well, huh? Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Ho, 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 ho. Hey, hey, guys. Can any of you eagle-eyed viewers spot what I can see? Huh? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? You see that thing over there? That, my friends, is a pillager outpost. Okay. Well, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I wasn't expecting one to find one this early on in the series. But uh, I guess, well, I, I should say weirder things have happened. But actually, this is pretty weird. Okay, well, uh, we know where to avoid right now. I mean, I don't know, actually. If we wanted to try and grab ourselves a crossbow, I guess trying to kill one or two of those guys would be kind of a good start, right? Oh, gosh! They're already here. Oh, my word. Oh, God! Hello. Eh, eh, die. Oh, he gave me one. Fantastic. Right. Dead. Oh, dead. God, what durability does that have? Okay, that's actually kind of decent. We've got a, like, half crossbow. Oh, there's another one right there. Cool. Fantastic. Right, let's get the heck out of here. I don't want to be taking down captains and getting freaking bad omen. Just does not seem like a good idea to me. It really, really does not. Whoa. Whoa. Me. That is some cool terrain. Oh, looky, it's a llama. Llama, llama, llama. Llama, llama, llama. Hello. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> He's so derpy. I love him. I love the fact that his nose has a face of its own. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> hey, guys, I think in the distance I can see a spruce village coming up, which is rather good timing, to be honest with you, because, uh, yeah, it's nighttime. I don't have a bed on me. 
Uh, yeah, basically, I didn't come very prepared, did I? Yeah, this is definitely a village. Awesome! Because if I was to continue on with uh, getting the bookcases manually, then things would have just been a little bit too much of a pain in the butt. Technically speaking, we would have needed 46 bits of leather, 45 for all of the bookcases, and then one for the uh, for the other stuffs. Uh-huh. Hello! Ooh! Spruce saplings. Awesome. We don't even need to chop down a tree for them. Appreciate it. Oh, my goodness me. Can you, like, not go away, sir? Thank you. Appreciate it. Hello. Right. Okay. We're Loki just having to... Uh, uh, there's so many dudes around here. Oh, my gosh. Right. Is there... No, nope, that is not a free bed. Has this guy got a free bed? Oh, no. There's a converted villager in there. Uh, there's a smoker and a couple of cows in that pen right there. You're dead. Sorry, buddy. I would re-cure you, but uh, I cannot. I don't have the resources to, sadly. Oh, good. Get wrecked, sir. There you go. Right. Any sort of a library? I mean, I'm not seeing one so far. That guy's unemployed. That guy's also unemployed. As is that guy. How, why, why so many unemployed dudes? Hello. Right. What do you got for me? Uh, not a whole bunch of stuff, to be honest with you. Uh, I'll take the berries. Uh, I don't really know. Yeah, we don't, we don't need the ferns. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's a grindstone there. There's an iron golem. Oh, you beauty. Go on. Keep going after him. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Good man. All right. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. Uh, that is also not a free bed. Gosh, freaking darn it. Can I just punch them out of the bed? Because I'm about to. If I can, that is. <clears throat> Get destroyed, sir. Come on. Come on. Dead. Dead. Good. Right. Come on. Right. I'm going to have to punch you out of the bed. Sorry. I... Oh, good. <laughs> it's my bed now, sucker. <laughs> oh, sorry, Budski. Had to do it to you. I had to make it daytime, man. In a way, I was saving you, okay? I was saving you. That's what I was doing. Wait, what's going on over here? Oh, this guy's being a doofus. Right, let's go and get rid of that. There you go. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Right, okay. So, oh, is that a library building? Kind of looks big enough to be one. Right, so here we go. There's the wheat I was... For goodness sake. All right, we only have half health at this point. And also, I can't sprint. Uh, Get destroyed, sir. There you go. You love to see it. Right, let's have ourselves a little bit of food and therefore health regen. Oh, for goodness sake. Another one? Really? Oh, my word. You can't, you can't get the staff, can you? Good lord. All right, there we go. Thanks. Appreciate it. Right, hopefully all of the farmers will just replant that. In fact, I tell you what, I'm I'm gonna be not a jerk bag and I'm gonna do it for you. There you go. There you go. It's all yours there, broski. However, I may have to steal your composter. Do I wanna do that? I don't know. Right, hello. What are you? Also unemployed. What the heck? There's so many unemployed dudes in here. Alright, so there's a lectern. And there's a few books. Right, so if I was to take all of these, that would give us 18 books. Which is six bookshelves. Uh, 18 plus 19 is what? 37? So that would mean we would need another... Ooh. Eight? Wait, eight or nine? Yeah, nine. I think nine more bits of leather. And I think we're pretty much good. Right, so yeah. Hello. What do you got? Fire aspect one. Or we could buy bookshelves. <gasps> if we did a little bit of work for the village, that could be a thing we could do, maybe. Wait, what's this guy? Hello. Uh, you have a sharpness two sword. Hmm. Do we have a farmer around here? It'd be kind of cool if we did. Just saying. Oh, yeah, of course you require potatoes and carrots. The two things I don't have currently. Ugh. What a jerk. I can't believe him. I can't believe this guy. The absolute cheek of it. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess at this point, all we need to do is, like, take down a few more cows, and then I guess we'll be done. So, like I say, nine more bits of leather... And we will be good to go. I mean, technically, I could kill donkeys for it. But I don't think I want to. I don't think I'm that much of a jerk bag. So, yeah. Hmm. Anyway, well, it was pretty cool seeing a village, though. So, you know, I'm not going to complain about it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's get back to our goal, huh? Like I say, nine more bits of leather and we'll be good to go. Well, guys, I'm going to feel like a complete jerk for doing it. But uh, these guys are a pretty good source of leather as well. So, uh, yeah, there we go. 29. So, 29 plus 18 books 
is what 47 so yeah we've got enough we've got more than enough of course which is beautiful so all we got to do is try to get back to base try to find our way back to that cow who is near our boat if we could lure him on there then i guess we can uh, you know at some point get another cow start up a little bit of a cow farm on our island that would be very nice would it not so yeah all right, cool stuff, my friends. Cool stuff, my friends. We are making some decent progress towards our episode goal. And I'll tell you what, just because I can and just because it's me and I love flower pots, I guess we can grab just a tiny bit of clay here because there is a distinct lacking of clay around our island. So, yeah, maybe grabbing a little bit of this just to future-proof ourselves, I guess, would be a good idea. So, yeah, I'm trying to be smart, my friends. I'm trying to think for the future. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Hey! No clay ball left behind. Let's grab that. Let's grab the cow. And I'm pretty sure my boat is just over this ridge around the corner here. So if you could, like, be quick, that'll be nice. Where are you going? I have no idea what this guy is doing. Come on, brother. Hey! There we go, my friends. Our cow friend is in the boat. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Right, now, as far as I can remember, our base is at 7,300 on the X and then, like, negative 19,100 on the Z. So, we pretty much got to head directly south to get back to base. So, yeah, shouldn't be too difficult, right? Dude, I love seeing coral weaves at night. They look so splendid. I love it, man. I do. That's so cool. Oh! Okay. Zombie villager. Yes. Okay, so I can actually name tag this guy. So he's a cleric. Uh, what do clerics buy? Zombie flesh, I guess. Uh, okay, looking pretty good. Right, all we need to do is... Where are you off to, buddy? Hey, come over here. Come on. You know you want to try it. Oh, 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 God. Oh, gosh darn it. I, don't, I didn't realize he'd actually be kind of smart here. Right, got... Yeah, this isn't working, is it? I'm being a doofus. Right, boom, boom. And then... Oh! For goodness sake, sir. Uh, rid it. There you go. Right, 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 right. So come over here. Yep. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. Here, 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 sir. Oh, what? There's... What? There's a... Hey! There's a trident, dude. What the heck? Oh, that ain't cool, boo-boo. What am I supposed to do with him, man? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's just, uh, oh, oh, this is such a rigmarole. Hang on a minute. Come on. In you go. In you go. In you go. In you go. Ah! Oh! You trident using piece of poo. Ah! I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I destroy your already dead and decapitated body, you bum. Ah! Okay, I'm a little bit annoyed, actually. I was really wanting to save that villager because the chances of us getting another one... Ah, <sighs> in that same sense is pretty slim. <sighs> I would have rather died than let that guy freaking kill him. I'm so annoyed. I mean, yeah, I did technically kill him, but the trident guy was the one who weakened him. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Why? Why did you do that? Oh my god, I am so frustrated. Like, honestly, the mobs in this game are unbelievably stupid. Like, it's actually no wonder they keep killing themselves. Holy guacamole. I'm so sad right now. We tried to get ourselves a zombie villager and failed. And then we tried to get ourselves a freaking chicken and failed. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm honestly so sad right now, man. Oh, well, at least we got ourselves a crossbow. I don't even know where we got the golden helmet from, but oh well, I guess we'll take it. <sighs> All right, let's let's go ahead and make as many books as we can, and then figure out that we probably don't actually have enough. Uh, twenty nine. Oh, we actually do have enough. Hey, that's pretty freaking awesome. All right, guys. So all we need ourselves is a whole bunch of wood. And well, as you can see, we have ourselves a good amount of it. So 15. Yep, there's the 15 bookshelves we need. And then, of course, we need ourselves uh, two diamondos. And then also uh, a few bits of obsidian here. And there is the enchant table. Now, all we've got to do is try to figure out how this is going to be laid out. So, we'll put the enchant table there, of course, to start off with. And then, yep, I am very... Wait, is that going to break the portal? 
I don't actually know. But we need a new axe. Alrighty, guys. So if I've done this correctly, then this should go up. Oh, oh right. The torches. Yeah, that'll probably do it, wouldn't it? Uh, right, no, we want something unenchanted. Yeah, there we go. Sweeping edge one for level 30. That doesn't seem right. Okay, that's very weird. That is an incredibly low level enchant for something that's level 30 standard. <laughs> oh, I don't like that, man. Right, what have we got here? I'm breaking three. Ooh, could be a nice one to go for, my friends. But anyways, yeah. Guys, we're just about done for today's episode. However, what I'm going to do real quick is the good old-fashioned lighting trick uh, where we can do that. There we go. Right, let's just make sure the light levels are all good. Uh, nines. Okay, yep, pretty good. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we've got ourselves a full enchant setup. We've got exploring, found a village, found an outpost as well. We've done pretty good today, my friends, despite all of the weird and wonderful fails that actually, to be honest, aren't so wonderful. Yeah, we've not done too bad. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call the episode there. I want to thank you guys for watching. We've got the comments question of the video coming from Frame Gaming, who says, Python, dried kelp blocks are a pretty good source of fuel. They smelt 20 items per block now this is a really really cool comment for the simple fact that uh, it would be a cool idea for us to experiment with kelp farms in this uh, season i mean you know sticking with the whole ocean theme it would be a very very cool idea for us to actually try to make a fully fledged kelp farm i mean we've got quite a lot already uh, that we could probably smelt up and use as fuel but yeah i mean like i say my friends the focus of this is a the ocean and b trying things out for the first time that we've never done before so yeah it's a good idea so thank you very much for that but yeah guys Guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, a like rating would be very much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button, ding that bell as well if you guys don't want to miss out future content. But for now, hopefully, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Like I say, I don't know why I said that twice. <laughs> I'm so dumb. My brain is like completely frazzled right now. Like uh, the freaking zombie villager. It frazzled my brain because I got so annoyed with it. <laughs> but yeah, guys, like I say, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>